Hi, this is Brian at CEO Mastery, where we help CEOs and their teams be and do their absolute best. I want to talk with you today about processes and the secret ingredient behind them. Processes, processes are important. McDonald's proved that decades ago when they were able to get extraordinary results from ordinary people on a repeated basis through processes. Franchises have been copying that model ever since. And we know in our businesses that we need to codify how things are done, continuously improve them, but codify them into repeatable processes, teach people how to follow those processes. <coughs> but processes are not enough. We all know things that we have to do that we don't do. So we have to want to follow the process. Wanting is a feeling and feelings drive action. What I like to say is emotion drives motion. Great leaders know that and they work hard to tap the hearts and the feelings of their people so their people follow processes, go the extra mile and, and so forth. Napoleon Bonaparte is a great example of this kind of leader. And uh, I'm reading a book about him. It's about this thick. I'm only halfway through, but it's, well, even a third of the way through. This guy lived a life just unbelievable. I highly, I highly recommend reading about him. So he won many, 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 many battles. I think he won like 30 out of 33 battles or something. So extremely successful. Uh, and a great part of that was because he was such a great battle strategist and tactician. He had these battles choreographed perfectly. But for that to work, he had to have his soldiers execute on the choreograph, execute on the plan, follow the process, uh, even under very difficult circumstances. Not only were they being shot at and killed, but many times they were exhausted. So, but he was able to do that because he created them in, in them the will to do what had to be done. And he did that through several methods. First, he gave meaning to their lives. He said, look, this is not just a battle. You are fighting for France. You are fighting for the glory of France, for your own glory, for the glory of this army. And I'm thinking in particular when he was head of the army of Italy, the glory, you, there is meaning to what you are doing. People need meeting. If you want to read more about that, Viktor Frankl, Man Search for Meaning, does a great job of that. Meaning counts. Secondly, he gave them confidence. He spoke to them about their abilities and he made them believe that they were capable of extraordinary achievements. And then they went ahead and won a lot of battles, which made it a lot easier for them, in fact, to believe that. He also celebrated them. He spoke to them after battles and, and, and told them of what an amazing job they did. Many times he cast these brass medals uh, and then he distributed them to the soldiers and other people. And he also made monuments to their great victories, the victories of the army of Italy. So he celebrated them. And he also did it on a personal level, which bleeds into the fourth point, which is he cared. He, they, they felt that he cared about them individually as people. So after battles, he would visit with them and he would congratulate them individually, not all 60,000 soldiers, but many of them. And his reputation spread through the ranks as somebody who cared. Um, and um, he would get them supplies like, like Washington, you know, especially when he first started with that army, they didn't have shoes, they didn't have coats. Sometimes they fought in the winter, they were freezing. And he got them supplies from Paris that was already stretched with many armies fighting on many fronts. He got them paid on time. Um, and he spent time with the injured. He was to go to the infirmaries and speak to the folks who, were, who had been injured. So he cared, right? So what can we learn from this? One is, yes, codify what you do. Make it repeatable uh, and so that people can learn it and execute it. And then attend to the will of the people. Show them that you care about them individually. Inspire them through your, through your talk, through your speeches and, and communications and your actions. Give them the confidence that they need. Uh, spotlight, highlight the victories, the great things that they do. Make sure they feel that they are strong and capable. 
and then celebrate the victories of your people collectively and individually. Systems and procedures are essential. They are the backbone of the business, but building the will to follow them is everything. Without that, you're just wasting your time. Um, your people must have the desire to succeed. So go on, care, inspire, motivate, celebrate. Your people are ready.